Mouse Trouble News fans, in another great example of the freedom of speech that exists under capitalism, a man, Jeff Olson, is facing 13 years in prison for writing anti-bank messages in water-soluble children's chalk near a bank. 13 years in prison for that. I mean, it, think about the magnitude of that. He kept writing anti-bank messages outside of a bank in water-soluble water soluble chalk. Now he's facing, facing 13 counts of vandalism that somehow translates to 13 years in jail. Now this is more information according to the RT article. In addition to possibly spending years in jail, Olson will be held liable for fines up to $13,000 over the anti-bank slogans that were left using washable children's chalk on the sidewalk outside of three San Diego, California branches of Bank of America, the massive conglomerate that received $45 billion in interest-free loans from the U.S. government in 2008 to 2009 in a bid to keep it solvent after bad bets went south. Now, if this isn't bad enough that you're going to go to jail just for writing an anti-bank message, the judge in his case... Judge Howard Shore has banned his lawyer from talking about freedom of speech, which means the freedom of speech issue that this is all about, his lawyer is not allowed to talk about. They can't actually bring up freedom of speech in the trial over someone exercising free speech. Think about that. The deputy city attorney, Paige Hazard, filed a motion in court to prevent his lawyer from bringing it up. His lawyer, Tom uh, Tostel, uh, is banned from mentioning the United States Constitution's First Amendment. Think about that. In an issue where someone is literally exercising freedom of speech, that is illegal to bring up in the court case. It's just absolutely astounding. This is like one of the most blatantly transparent moments of oppression of freedom of speech possible. They literally got a court order banning him from defending free speech. I mean, he's, he's, it's obvious he's going to be convicted because he's not allowed to actually invoke his right to free speech. It's insane. Now, according to Olson, who spoke to a, lo to the, uh, a local TV station, uh, KGTV, the Bank of America branch claims that it paid $6,000 to clean that up. Water-soluble chalk, apparently, in 13 cases, took $6,000 to clean up. I mean, literally, you could just take a, cu a cup of water and just throw it on the sidewalk. And they're claiming it costs $6,000 to clean up. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this is, this is absolutely astounding. This is actually an assault on free speech just for questioning a bank. Just for questioning a capitalist institution, you're looking at 13 years in jail. And this is just for criticizing it. This is just for writing slogans on the ground, not holding a rally, not having a group and having a discussion, just writing something is worth 13 years in jail. This is the criminalization of free speech. Look at this. Look how afraid the capitalist class is of any dissent against their rule. They're literally going to throw somebody in jail for leaving a non-permanent mark on a sidewalk. I mean, really understand the magnitude of what that is, of what's happening here. It's absolutely astounding. This demonstrates to us exactly how terrified of freedom of speech the bourgeois really are.